PT Sheepdog with you guys again today. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about my load bearing gear. Just a quick rundown of what I'm running for a setup and then I'll don it and uh, show you what it looks like on me. Um, yes, I'm running a Condor modular chest rig. It's patterned after the Eagle Rhodesian chest rig. Um, it's $180 for that though. This one's only $40. I um, work with what I got, what I can afford. Um, it's pretty well built. I mean, I've been running this thing for over a year now. Um, try to train at least every other weekend. Um, doing running and gunning, going prone, um, getting out in the bush with it, and it's been holding up fairly nicely. A lot better than I expected. Um, Nothing Fancy does a review on it. You may have seen his. Um, not really doing a review. I'm just going to say, if that's all you can afford, go for it. It'll work out. Um, if it breaks, get another one. Um, it does have a plate pocket. I don't have any plates. I turned all those back into Uncle Sam when I left. Um, just run a little plastic stiffener in here. It's like eighth inch plastic sheeting. Wrap some tape around the edges to get rid of the sharpness. But it helps stiffen everything up and give it a more solid feel. I also tied my straps together in the back so they don't shift around on me. And um, duct taped off everything that I don't need to unbuckle. Um, just a little extra security there. Um, what I'm running for pouches though. Um, Condor uh, eye pouch. Um, that I'm just using as an admin pouch pretty much. Got a multi-tool in there right now. Um, some writing sticks, a notebook. Um, put some light sticks in there as well, a uh, compass. Um, GPS pouch, um, that, just running my cleaning kit in there, some earplugs, um, just some general gear I might need out in the field that's all weapon related stuff um, versus the administration. Uh, running seven primary mags, all Colt, um, four secondary mags on my vest, I have one on my holster as well. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, an IFAC with my blood type on it. Uh, my name's been blacked out for OPSEC reasons. But um, yeah, I figured I'd put it in two different formats in case somebody didn't understand one. Hopefully they'll understand the other. Kind of an important thing. Um, this is the Condor IFAC. I uh, beefed it out with a few extra things. Some extra rolls of gauze. Bigger roll of better tape. Uh, a few extra gauze options, um, some locking forceps and a little mirror, um, extra gloves. Um, do need to add a tourniquet to it. I'd like to get the combat tourniquet. Um, there's my shears, a um, small light. And these things also have a mat pocket right in the front. Got some retention in there, a little elastic loop, as well as this pocket up top here. Um, that's actually where I'm running my compass right now. You can kind of see it down in there. Um, that completes my primary loadout. My second line gear, I'm just running a regular military issue pistol belt with a drop leg holster. Um, Condor, uh, I'm running a Glock 23 with a light, with a Glock light. Couldn't really find a regular holster that fit all that, so I'm running this. It's uh, universal. You can make it fit anything. So I kind of like it. I could pick up another handgun if I need to. Adjust it a little bit and throw it right in there. Um, no need for a new holster. It works. Gets the job done. Um, planning on making a Kydex drop leg rig though. My own custom creation at some point here. And uh, I'll do a video on that when I make that. Um, this little guy here. It's an old Vietnam issue pouch. Something I was given back in the Civil Air Patrol a long time ago when I was a youth. Um, just running some 4X binoculars right there. Um, kind of important to be able to reach out and be able to see. Uh, homemade dump pouch. Looks pretty ugly. Gets the job done. Like I said, don't have a lot of money doing what I can with what I got. I'd rather spend money on ammunition and training than a bunch of fancy gear. This thing does the job. And, you know, it cost me maybe 20 minutes of my time. An old pant leg from an old pair of pants and some skills on a sewing machine. That's it. Um, and last but not least, an M16 pouch, old Alice gear, Vietnam type issue stuff. Um, and I'm running three extra mags in there. So I'm carrying a total of 10 spare mags, um, not including the one in my primary. So 11 mags. It's um, a lot of weight. 
I do a lot of hiking though. I'm used to carrying a lot of gear around. And yeah, it's not really an issue. You just need to get out and train with it, get used to it, get used to running around, getting into position with it, uh, moving between positions, and all that. Um, all right, I will be back with you guys in a minute. I'm going to put all this on, um, show you how to wear something like this properly. I notice a lot of people wear their vests really low. If you're running armor, not a good idea. Um, if you're not running armor, not such a big deal. People make a fuss about it. But like I said, if you're not running an armor plate in this thing, you really don't need it hiked right up where you're supposed to have it. Um, just my preference. I like to have a little clearance for my battle belt. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'll don this thing and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, gonna don this thing now. Put it on my chest trick. Show you guys proper wear of it. Just how it fits me. How easy it is to put on and to get out of it. Um, yeah, all right. Let's go over it. Basically, I leave my two back straps hooked at all times. The only time I ever unhook this one is the right one when I'm getting out of it. Other than that, it stays hooked. The only straps I have to deal with are this back strap and the strap that supports the bib. Just throw it up over your head, arms through, back strap, bib goes up through on the shoulder strap, snap it in place, and you're in. Um, you may notice this is riding pretty high. That's about where you want it riding, you guys. If you're running plates, you want it up there. You don't want it sagging way, way down here. Not good. You have major arteries right here at the top of your sternum. Basically, you want your plate riding right at the top of your sternum where it meets your throat, right at that soft spot. Um, any lower, you take around there, you're done. Um, just a little something I learned back in the day. Um, now, you'll notice it fits pretty tight not wiggling around. Um, that's good. I want it sucked right into my body. That plastic plate that I have in there helps stiffen things up a little bit. Helps give it a more secure fill. Um, like I was saying, I'm not running plates, but I still run it kind of high just because I like to have my sub load running right up on my hips. And if I drop this vest down, then the um, my battle belt, my subload, ends up down around around my hips instead of sitting on my hips. And it wants to come down around my waist and that's not good for anybody. Um, not sure if you're going to be able to see. Move it a little bit here. Um, but yeah, my subload right up under here. Right here is my waist. My belt for my pants is just beneath that. Um, yeah, everything's accessible and out of the way. The IFAX just clear of spare mags. I can access these pretty quickly. Um, if I need to. Everything's easily accessible, either hand, left-handed, right-handed. Even my secondary mag all the way to my left side. It's easily accessible by my right hand. Um, my IFAX, I know people like tearaways can't afford it right now, you know what? I can still run it one hand if I need to. If you're determined enough and you're injured, you're gonna find a way. So, I don't wanna hear people giving me flack for running an old school iPad pouch instead of a tearaway. It will be upgraded at some point. Just, like I said, spend money on ammunition. Training's more important than what you're running for gear. If you train with the gear that you have, and you become proficient with it, it's not going to matter if you're running the most high speed, most expensive gear. Um, just train with what you have and train, train, train. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free. Email me, ask me whatever you want. Um, voice your opinions, concerns, recommendations. Um, everything's greatly appreciated. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Um, you know, constructive criticism is good. Everybody can help each other and learn from each other. Um, Look forward to making more videos. Hope you guys keep watching. Thanks.